Bom dia, everyone. So, a couple of months ago, I bought a set of props for a six inch build on AliExpress. And um, what happened was they sent me the wrong item. They sent me seven inch props, which I totally couldn't use as it doesn't fit the seven inch prop. And I don't have any seven inch build. So, of course, I requested for a refund. I wasn't going to ask for a full refund, a partial refund would suffice. But the seller was adamant in not giving me any refund at all. So we escalated it up to AliExpress and eventually we settled on a partial refund. So this was several months ago and I thought, oh yeah, no, it's over and done. So you no, know, we move on. Then just yesterday, I was looking for a 2.5 inch props and didn't realize that it was from the same seller. And upon clicking the buy button, I couldn't purchase any of the items and I realized later right at the bottom that I have been blacklisted by this seller. That's right. So, it's, you know, the seller had apparently blacklisted me for their mistake in sending me the wrong item, which I really don't get. So in case you guys do purchase anything on AliExpress, I just want you guys to be very careful with this particular seller. You might end up with the wrong item and not getting a refund for them or not getting your order at all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not shaming or anything like that. As a seller, I do understand what they have to go through, but it is what it is. Just don't want you to go through all that fiasco. It took a over a month for the prop to arrive and it was a wrong one. Anyway. Today we look at the Mobula 8 O3 Lite, which is the Mobula 8 with the O3 frame but without the O3 air unit. So I've, I've attached the O3 air unit here, it's just a plug and play, you just have to find the long wire that actually attached from the O3 air unit onto the flight controller itself. So my frame needs a replacement and I'll be removing the flight controller and the motors and replacing the frame. and putting up the O3 unit back onto the Mob 8 O3 Lite. Okay, so the motors and flight controller are out and Hemi. So this this is my hamster Hemi. It's, it's, I, I let him run around freely sometimes and uh, it's no don't bite the don't bite the wires. Alright so as I was saying the motors and props and the flight controller has been removed as I was replacing the frame. But for those of you who actually bought the Mod 8 O3 Lite, um, what you want to do is get the DJI O3 snapped into the frame of the Mobula 8. And this, okay, so sorry, just let me put him back in his enclosure. So you want to be very careful with the MIPI cable where the two nubs are at the front of the Mobula 8 canopy and you just want to sh shift it little by little, Not don't force, just front and back, just wet, snap it right in and use that long wire from, D from your O3 package and connect it to the flight controller itself. So it's just basically a plug and play, no soldering involved. Screw down the flight controller and screw down the canopy onto your frame. Then the final thing that you should be doing is screwing down the camera, the O3 camera. As the air unit carries an SD card, it does onboard recording for the DVR in 4K. I would suggest that you put a little zip tie around the canopy to ensure that the SD card don't get ejected in a crash. Has happened to me with other quads before. So this is just an additional security you might want to add. Next, we're going to just make sure that the copper antenna is not in the path of the props and just what I do is I pull it off to the side and into the canopy of the Mobula 8. So this way that it doesn't get cut out by the prop or damaged by the prop if in the case of a crash. 
Right, so there we have it, and the uh, Mobula 803 is ready for a flight. I will be recording this with the goggles DVR at 720p instead of the onboard DVR at 4K. We'll just take a look at the difference between the 4K video and the 720p video that's recorded from the V2 goggles. Hope you enjoy this video. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate all of you, especially those guys who drop in into the comments and all those of you who are watching. So till the next one, see you guys again soon. Ciao.